what is up guys Jeremy here and welcome back to another video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install playbox HD on your non jailbroken device this does not need a jailbreak to be done even though my device is jailbroken like I said this will work uh, and this will work for all iOS 9 devices iOS 9 through iOS 9.3 uh, but if you guys had seen my movie box tutorial, this is going to be the same process. So we're going to start from the beginning. What you're going to want to do first is go ahead and open up settings. Go ahead and scroll down until you see Safari. Open that up. Scroll down and you'll see clear history and website data. Make sure you clear that. Go ahead and clear it. And then we can leave the settings application. And then we're going to go ahead and open up Safari. Make sure you're going through Safari, not Google Chrome or the Google search app, make sure it's Safari. We can go ahead and go in the search bar and type in vshare. Just like so, go ahead and click on go and let it load. So we're gonna go to www.vshare.com. It's the first option here on screen for me. I'll even leave the website link in the description in case you guys can't type in vshare for some reason. And we'll just let this load. And there we go. Any day now. All right. Uh, now, for those of you that are having issues with the actual vShare website, that is not a problem with your device. It's a problem with the website. So if you're having issues with the website, just set your phone down, wait a little while, and just try again later. That's because of the website. But as you guys can see, there's two buttons here. There is download unjailbroken and download jailbroken. So go ahead and select on download unjailbroken. And then let it load here. It's going to have you install a profile any day. There we go. So go ahead and click on install. It's perfectly safe. Go ahead and put your passcode in for your device if you have one. And then go ahead and click on install. So we're going to install this profile. Go ahead and click on done. We can exit out of Safari now. And you guys will have the vShare application uh, on your springboard. It's right there next to the folder on the bottom. So go ahead and launch the vShare app. Once it loads up. All right, now we can go ahead and click on the magnifying glass or the search in the upper right there. And go ahead and type in Playbox HD. Go ahead and click on return to search. And we can go ahead and click on install. Now, when you guys first click install, it seems like my device is not doing anything. You got to give it a second here. It's, you're going to get a pop-up, okay? So there you go. There's your, your pop-up. A lot of you, I know, have clicked that install, and then you just you just exit out of vShare. You got to wait for that, and then you click install on that. Then you can leave vShare, and as you guys can see, Playbox is installing. So we'll just wait for this to install. It does take it a minute here. If you guys are doing this over your cellular, uh, cellular connection, it might take longer. I'm on blazing fast internet right now, so and this is how long it's taking, so just be patient. So there you go. Now, when you guys are going to try and launch it, you're going to get a little pop-up said untrusted. Go ahead and click on cancel, and we're going to have to manually trust this app. So we're going to go back to the settings. And then we're going to go ahead and I'll show you where to go. We're going to go into general. Scroll down until you see profiles. It's below VPN. Click on profiles. And then this is the Fujo. So as you guys can see right there, there's the Playbox HD. And go ahead and click on the trust button. This is perfectly safe. Click on trust again. And now we have trusted Playbox HD. We can go ahead and exit out of settings. Swipe back over to the Playbox app, launch it, and that is pretty much it, guys. That's how you uh, uh, install Playbox HD on a non-jailbroken device. Uh, if this tutorial helped you out at all, um, you know, be sure to throw a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, just you know, ask down in the comments. I'm sure there's gonna be people, you know, uh, asking a lot of different stuff, and I'll try to watch the comments as much as I can here for a while. Uh, but anyways, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, throw a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. Later.